good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on uh, internal combustion engines today we are going to discuss about abnormal combustion in uh, si engine that is a uh, spark ignition engine means petrol engine types of abnormal combustion so before going to see the types of abnormal combustion we we should know what is abnormal combustion so the, for that uh, i want you to understand about the normal combustion in the normal combustion the flame started from spark plug and goes fairly and burns all the portion of the unbound mixes in a fair manner so that the combustion is uniform so that is indicates the normal combustion so now we need to discuss about what is abnormal combustion in the abnormal combustion by the time flame reaches to the end portion this end portion creates one more flame and these two flames collide each other and forms a noise of high range so that is called abnormal combustion so for this uh, the roughness of the engine is going to increase so so this is about the abnormal combustion now we will detailedly study about the what is abnormal combustion in this lecture so there are types of there are different types of com abnormal combustions are there first one is a detonation or a knocking combustion second one is pre ignition and the third one is a run on out of these three the detonation or a knocking is very much danger and very much important to understand and to know for an engineer to develop any kind of an engine so now let me to go to the de uh, detailed discussion on uh, detonation or knocking the detonation or knocking this is the cylinder in the detonation or knocking that means abnormal combustion <coughs> if the combustion takes place normally that means the you know this is the a point point a indicates the spark plug from the spark plug you know spark initiates so that the flame burns in a fairly manner by the time flame reaches to the b b dash so the end portion d is reaches the self ignition temperature if the self ignition temperature is reached if the self ignition temperature is reached it auto ignites actually but what what actually happen you know after reaching the self ignition temperature is all in after reaching the self ignition temperature also the fuel cannot burn immediately it has to wait for some time that is called a delay period so before this delay period completes this ignition delay period complete before this ignition delay period completes this flame when the when the this end portion reaches the self ignition temperature the flame reaches bb dash portion and after reaching the self ignition temperature is also immediately it won't burn it wait for some time that time is called uh, ignition delay by the time this end portion completes the delay period this bb dash flame and comes and burns the unburned for unburned uh, portion also in a fair manner so this is about the normal combustion now i go to discuss about the abnormal combustion if the flame travels from a and slowly it is moving in a forward direction by the time it reaches to the bb dash the end portion d reaches the self ignition temperature and and by the time it reaches the self ignition temperature and it, the flame is at bb dash after bb dash it is slowly moving up forward and after reaching self ignition temperature also it won't burn as you know it has to complete delay period the delay period is nothing but after self ignition temperature reach this mixture is prepared for you know there's something like a pre frame reaction takes place that means the mixture is pre you know prepared uh, this preparation phase is called delay period so this end portion has to complete this delay period before before the flame comes but actually in abnormal combustion in abnormal combustion what happen you know before this flame reaches to the end portion this end portion reaches self ignition temperature and completes ignition delay and it burns it ignite auto ignite so after reaching self ignition temperature and after completion of the delay period it burns it you know it auto ignite and it create one more flame so that you know by the time this flame reaches to the end portion this end portion reaches self ignition temperature and completes the delay period and started auto ignite and create one more flame these two flames collide each other at a particular point and create large noise high noise huge noise so that is nothing but a knocking so that means uh, after you know usually this knocking occur in si engine after tdc that means after uh, almost at the end of combustion this knocking occur in case of diesel engine the knocking occur at the beginning of the combustion that is before tdc but in si engine the knocking occur after tdc so this is the indication of the knocking that, that means the car is not smooth but it is so rough so that's why you now the engine is going to damage in the in a normal combustion this is about the normal combustion in the normal combustion the car is very smooth 
in the abnormal combustion because the only one wave is formed that is one flame is formed that is from the spark plug here there are two flames are formed one is from the spark plug and another is from the end portion these two flames collide each other and forms high noise rough noise so the curve is like that rough so rough so i will indicate this on uh, pressure and volume diagram if the combustion is normal after compression b the combustion is normal it reaches to the you know after heat addition after heat addition it reaches to the point c then it is expansion but you know after combustion after compression and in the combustion you know if the com you know if abnormal combustion occur the pressure and temperatures are very very high and this very very high pressure and high temperature creates you know detonating no detonating uh, wave this this wave and uh, this wave collide each other and forms rough so that the power output is also reduced the power output the expansion is reduced. earlier the expansion is this much so this much power is lost because of the knocking now we will go to study the next level of knocking that is uh, no no detonation when we get no detonation you know if i get these two statements then i will not be able to get uh, i will not get de no detonation that means th these two are the conditions to get no no detonation no knocking first condition if the end portion does not uh, that means uh, this portion if end portion does not reach self ignition temperature by the time flame comes to it that means if end portion does not reach self ignition temperature that means if the flame started here and moves in the forward direction by the time flame reaches to the end portion this end portion do not reach the self ignition temperature so there is no detonation the second condition is if the ignition delay period is longer that means even after reaching the self ignition temperature even after this uh, end portion reaching the self ignition temperature it has to wait for some time that is ignition delay this is the time this ignition delay if the ignition delay period is longer than the time required for a flame to reach end portion that means um, if this ignition delay after reaching the self ignition temperature if the delay period is long by the time if the delay period completes by the time this delay period completes this flame travels fairly and bonds the unbound combustion unbound portion that is last portion also combustion last portion also bound by the flame itself so that means uh, if the delay period is longer there is no detonation because if the delay period is no high by the time it completes the delay period the flame travels to it and burns the end portion in a fair manner so no detonation occur so these two are the conditions so that means for an si engine high self ignition temperature and long ignition delay period are desirable properties for si engine fuels to reduce the knocking or detonation this is a very important point now we will need to discuss the effects of detonation so if detonation occur what happen to the engine the engine is going to have high noise and roughness mechanically damage because uh, because uh, roughness is more automatically damages more vibrations are more increases more vibrations are there means automatically the engine is vibrate more so the mechanically it is damageable the carbon deposits formed so if if you know inside the engine detonation occur there are carbon deposits formed you know on the cylinders of the wall so that the cylinder is going to if this carbon depo deposit is attached to the piston ring so that the carbon wall deposits form go in and you know go to and fro from top to top dead center to bottom dead center between the piston and cylinder so it is going to so that means if any there is no gap between piston and cylinder if this carbon deposits are formed so that what happen you know these cylinder walls are going to be damaged so that means uh, the liners are going to replace every you know frequently after that means you know every 6 months or 4 months we need to replace the cylinder uh, cylinder liners because of the carbon deposits that means the loss increase in heat transfer If because of sudden increment in pressure and temperature leads to high pressure and high temperature leads to more amount of energy available here so that it increases the heat transfer to the cylinder walls so that means heat losses occur decrease in power output and efficiency if losses are this much automatically the power output is reduced the main indication of the detonation is sudden loss of power available sudden loss of power we can see this is the main evidence of uh, identifying the detonation loss of power is suddenly you can identify if power output is reduced and efficiency is also reduced and the last one is pre ignition so pre ignition we will need to discuss pre ignition what is pre ignition so these are the detonation effects of detonation now we need to discuss the pre ignition so pre ignition is nothing but 
increase in heat transfer to the walls already i told you if the detonation occur the heat transfer is more increase in heat transfer increase in heat transfer to the walls increases the wall heating of the walls if the heat transfer increases the walls are going to increase walls temperature is going to increase that means walls are going to overheated if walls are going to overheated that increases the temperature of the walls walls temperature is going to increase which may high enough to ignite the charge before the passage of a spark that means if temperature of the walls increase this is very much enough to create the detonation because if this wall is for example this wall is uh, at very very high temperature by the time flame reaches to the end portion this wall is very high temperature the portion which is available here that means the charge which is available here charge in the sense air fuel mixture the air fuel mixture which is available here is taking heat from the walls and you know it reaches self ignition temperature and it when it takes heat from the walls automatically it auto ignite before the flame comes so this end portion also create one more flame so this flame collide each other and create more knocking so that means charge before the passes comes thus causing the pre ignition that means the high temperature walls which may enough to ignite the charge before the passes of the spark before spark comes from the spark plug you know this you know end portion burn so that causing the pre ignition pre ignition means creating the flame creating the flame are create are burning the end portion before the flame comes so end pre ignition thing is nothing but the end portion is burned before flame comes from the spark plug if the spark plug is initiate spark the spark travels in the forward direction and burns the end portion this is actual case but you know in pre ignition means before flame comes the end portion is burning so that is a pre ignition now we need to discuss the next category that is a <coughs> surface ignition ignition if the surface ignition that means uh, because of high temperatures available at the wall if the surface ignition occur before passage of spark is called pre ignition that means if the sur surface is very much hot this hot heat this heat is taken to the uh, air fuel mixture so that it the auto ignite so that means because if the surface ignition that means ignition occur because of the surface not because of the spark plug if the surface ignition occur before passage of spark is called pre ignition pre ignition pre ignition is nothing but burning the last portion by taking heat from the surface of the walls so that is called uh, pre ignition next how to detect the pre ignition so how to identify the pre ignition if the engine continues firing even after shutting off the ignition system that means uh, for example if this is the situation you know if i give if i stop the giving if i stop giving the spark that means if i switch off the engine that means i'm not giving any spark from the spark plug even in this situation also the engine is continuous running for example if the if the general case if i don't give the spark from the spark plug automatically engine is off because there is no spark means there is no combustion but what happen you know in case of if pre ignition is happening in the inside the engine even if i switch off the engine also the engine is continuous uh, continuous in firing that means continuous running because this end portion is at very hot because it is end portion is taking heat from the walls so that it is burning and we are also burning because this end portion is also hot so it is end portion is burning so this burning takes place that means flame is created big from the surfaces not from the spark plug that is the indication if the engine is continuous firing even after shutting off the ignition system that means ignition system means spark plug if i if i stop the spark plug if i giving if i stop the giving spark plug also engine is continuous firing by taking by by creating the flame from the surfaces that is the main indication and the second one is sudden loss of power with no evidence of mechanical malfunction is a good evidence of pre ignition that means if the pre ignition is occurring sudden loss of power if if we are traveling on a vehicle the vehicle is suddenly uh, reduces its power suddenly stop you no know, suddenly uh, getting low speed that means uh, suddenly low speed the that to if no function no evidence of mechanical malfunction if mechanically the engine is very stable that means the if there is no mechanical damage occur even though mechanical damage is not there the power loss is suddenly occur so such a such 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 a point is called uh, you know sudden loss of power with no evidence of mechanical malfunctioning is a good evidence of pregnition so one is if the spark is not there even though spark is not there you know it is uh, uh, even though there is no spark you know uh, it is taking heat from the wall so uh, engine is continuously firing and second point is a sudden loss of power that means the power is suddenly lost even there is no mechanical damage so that these two are the main evidences for uh, detecting the pre ignition 
so now we need to discuss about surface ignition so initiation of flame front by hot surface see so what is surface ignition surface ignition is nothing but this creation of flame by hot surface that means creation of flame by burning the end portion by taking heat from the hot surfaces this hot surfaces may be cylinder walls so as i told you only cylinder walls are responsible for surface ignition no cylinder walls are major effect and the other effects are spark plugs also at the spark plug for example if i can show you at the spark plug electrode the available you know this this spark plug electrodes are very much hot so at this at this hot temperature even if i don't give spark also this you know and in this portion which is available here is taking heat and creating flame that means abnormal combustion and exhaust wall at the uh, exhaust wall at the at the exhaust wall also so that means in the exhaust stroke more gases are traveling so this exhaust wall is at under high temperatures so at the exhaust wall also you know more temperatures are available so that this portions which are available which are there at the exhaust wall are also taking heat from the exhaust wall because this exhaust wall is at high, high, high temperature and creating one more flame so these are the major uh, art sources for creating surface ignition surface ignition is nothing but initiation of flame front by hot source not from the spark plug is spark plug you know flame means that is the main flame these are all the subordinate flame the not subordinate flame sub flame which are creating knocking okay and difference between pre ignition and surface ignition so pre ignition is nothing but burning of last charge before flame come before flame come if the last portion is burning that is pre ignition so initiation of flame by burning the last portion by taking the heat from the hot surface is called surface ignition and effects of surface ignition is one is run on surface ignition and another one is run away surface ignition run on surface ignition is nothing but if something like it is something like uh, identify the pre ignition so if the engine is even if you switch off the ignition system if the engine is continuous firing then it is called run on surface ignition that means it you know end portion is taking heat from the surface and it is continuous burning even if you switch off the ignition system it is continuous firing that is if the engine is running on even if i switch off the ignition system that is called run on surface ignition this uh, run away surface ignition is a major uh, uh, it is more danger because this happen if this happen continuously this walls are very very high temperatures so it is going to melt the piston or melt the cylinder walls it is going to seize the piston cylinder arrangement so these are the major effects so that is the run away surface ignition thank you